Hey, hey, my name is Bas Flipsen. I'm a senior lecturer at the School of Industrial Design Engineering of the Delft University of Technology. In this video, I will discuss reuse as a circular strategy. In a circular economy, the definition of reuse is reapplying a product for the same purpose in its original form and without altering or enhancing it. Beer bottles are examples of reusable packaging. The consumer has to pay a deposit, which is refunded when they take the bottle back to the store. The manufacturer retains ownership and the bottle and the consumer only uses it during the consumption period. The manufacturer keeps and reuses the bottle for a certain amount of cycles, after which they will be recycled into new bottles. Keeping certain, certain packaging for other purposes than the original one is not actually reuse. For instance, cleaning an empty jam jar in order to use it as a flower pot or a piggy bank is considered repurposing. In this case, the jam jar has left the system in which it could be continuously reused again and again. Reusing a packaging item preserves more of its embedded value than recycling it which is generally a more costly and energy-intensive process. This principle is known as the power of the inner circle, which refers to the activities that are at the center of the butterfly diagram, such as repair and reuse. From a circular economy perspective, it's often preferred to keep products and their materials in use for a longer time before recycling them. Reuse can be a good strategy for prolonging a packaging lifetime. It can be applied to a product's primary packaging, such as a PET soda bottle, but also to its secondary packaging, the boxes that are used to ship the bottles to supermarkets, or even to the tertiary packaging, the protective materials and wooden pallets on which these boxes are shipped. In order to create a circular packaging system, designers and manufacturers have to reconsider their product's primary, secondary and tertiary packaging. Each may require a different circular strategy, but all of them need to work together. But how do you know which strategy is better and has a lower environmental impact? When making an impact analysis, you have to think in systems. It's not just the impact of materials and production, other aspects of a product life cycle also need to be taken into account, like transport of materials, goods around the globe, but also the last mile to the consumer's home. Resources consumption during use, either energy or feedstocks like water and lubricant, and the chosen end-of-life strategies like recycling, waste, incineration or landfilling. A good way to evaluate the packaging environmental impact is to perform a so-called life cycle assessment. 